trans going on to Dominion, all those cases are not only marching on, they're staying in D.C. Now, Scott Adams, someone asked Scott Adams the question, uh, it, could this be what Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani and Mike Lindell want because now they're entitled to discovery from Dominion? Uh, in part, that may be the case. They definitely are now entitled to discovery to prove their arguments, just as Patrick Byrne and One America News Network are because they just got sued as well. And on the same grounds that Powell, Wood, and Ju uh, Powell, Giuliani, and Lindell could not dodge discovery, uh, Patrick Byrne won't be able to dodge discovery, but all four will be entitled to it. They had suggested beforehand that they wanted to be sued so they could get discovery, but they yep. didn't behave that way once the suit got filed. They were basically screaming, please don't have the case heard here. Please have it transferred. Please have it dismissed. Look, this is where when you get, when you... If when you want to get into the motivations and, and all the things you're going to say, somebody who wants to believe the plan is going to say they had to file the motion to dismiss so that when the motion to dismiss gets dismissed and the action can proceed, Dominion cannot then say, we're not going to submit to deposition or we're going, we're not going to communicate certain documents uh, because we don't have to, or we, we sued you. So we get to limit sort of what you get discovery to. Some people are going to say they're going to read it the way uh, they want to, which is, they had to do this, so now Dominion loses an argument to limit the scope of the discovery because they succeeded on their uh, opposition to the motion to dismiss. Uh, in, in my mind is you have to you have to make the motion to dismiss argument regardless because it's uh, I guess if you want to proceed, it's a win win because either the lawsuit gets dismissed and it's a win, or the lawsuit continues and it's a win. You get to go to deposition, which is what everyone wanted. But look. It was par for the course. Nobody should make anything more of the fact that they sought the dismissal in terms of the the broader plan that they stated from the beginning. I mean, yeah, I mean, my own view is I don't think this was part of their plan personally, but uh, it, maybe it was. They will be entitled now to discovery. That will go both ways, of course. Um, the mm -hmm. uh, And uh, the big motion they lost was the motion to transfer. Because now all of these cases will, once they get to a jury trial, they will be heard by a D.C. jury. So they're, they're, they're completely screwed there unless they beg the judge later on to, you know, expand the jury pool to uh, or transfer the case because of jury bias issues. And maybe they'll yeah. be able to get that. But right now, the only upside for them is discovery. Uh, otherwise, they're at serious risk of massive financial damages because Dominion's damages are now mounting. There are more cities, counties and states that the Dominion will blame on their these statements being made by these people. I don't think it'll be $1.6 billion. And I don't know how everybody's responsible magically for the same amount. Uh, <laughs> no, that, that's the problem. They got to apportion damages, but they're, they're getting some contracts canceled that are in the hundred million plus range. Okay. So they may have half a billion dollars. I mean, that that'd be enough to bankrupt any of these people other than well, maybe Mike Lindell. Oh yeah. But it's not like Lindell wants to pay $500 million anyhow, but the, um, no, I say that the change of jurisdiction, the change of venue is always a no brainer. You want to get to a favorable jury, selection pool but you know like it is dc but who knows what comes out of discovery in in my mind dominion's got more exposure on the discovery than than lindell and the other defendants because i don't believe they may be ill-founded they may have uh i don't know if jumped the shark is the right word but they may they may have some wrong impressions in fact and law but i doubt you're going to see conspiratorial emails among them to say, let's make these allegations to screw uh, Dominion. Oh, yeah, I agree. What the, Probably the most embarrassing discovery for Byrne, Lindell, Powell, Rudy, uh, is going to be that they were put on notice by a range of people that this information yeah. was unreliable. I mean, I'm on public record saying that this information was unreliable. <laughs> so you, you, can you imagine that other people told them that in email form too. Um, and that will probably be the most embarrassing, that they didn't vet it at all. They put a bunch of fraudsters and scam artists and idiots up and people can just read the court's order. Again, this was a Trump appointee and he's a relatively decent one as Trump appointees go. Uh, you just look at the details of what's there. I mean, they promoted people who had been convicted fraudsters. They promoted people who uh, had been a history of allegations and court determinations of prior fraud. Uh, I, they, they said themselves in communications that they had I mean, it happened again this week in Mike Lindell's cyber symposium. Yeah, His own lead cyber expert comes out to the Washington Times, by the way. It was that was the original story to it was a conservative press. They report and say, Oh, by the way, we don't have any of the proof that we've been telling him that we have proof of. You know, at his own cyber symposium or at the end of it. I mean right, what he so said, he said they, they, they made, made a lot of mistakes 
made a lot of dumb, dumb statements. Powell made very aggressive statements, said she had the affidavits that proved it, videos that proved it. No, she didn't. She made it up uh, and she got caught. And that's why they're all in serious trouble. I'm sure there's some embarrassing discovery from Dominion that they can find and get. It's not clear to me that they are prepared to get it. It's not prepared clear so, to me that they have the people to get it because they could have done this in the pre during even file the motion to dismiss, but ask for some limited discovery to prove aspects of the motion to dismiss or to prove like the reason why they lost the motion to transfer. They could have alleged a bunch of facts that this judge probably would have transferred to the Western district of Texas for jury pool purposes. They just didn't even allege it. I mean, they've, they, they've had, they, they, they filed the most, uh, they filed only the things that they had to file. It doesn't show the signs of real sophisticated civil litigation so far. So I don't intend, none of these people are all, Rudy Giuliani hasn't been in court, but once since 1992. Mike Lindell does not do a lot of litigation. Uh, Sidney Powell is a criminal litigator, not a big civil litigator. These are people that, and a lot of the lawyers they've hired are decent, but nothing spectacular. So it's not, I think they will be out uh, outdone in court, unfortunately, on this. Um, what was I just about to say? I forget. It was, uh, now I'm, I'm going to forget now and now, but, oh, yeah, sorry, limited discovery. That was the question. So it's going to be very easy for Dominion to say, well, the discovery of documents that the defendants might be entitled to can be reasonably limited such that Dominion can either limit its exposure or just limit the scope of whatever they're going to have to publicly disclose and I guess it would be very easy also for them to file a number of things under seal or, or, or I don't know what the American equivalent is, file it confidentially so that the, the world may ultimately never get to see it in the first place. I mean, I think Dominion has made a mistake. Uh, in the, I mean, the, the lawyers that they hired are the, the lawyers that did the Rolling Stone cases. They're close to a lot of politicians in Washington, close, by the way, to Fox News. Some of them have appeared on Tucker Carlson before to attack theories about the Covington cases they didn't want to see brought. You know, Tucker got taken for a ride in that presentation, but that's another story for another day. While they were promoting Lynn Wood, by the way, who they're, you know, notably haven't got around to suing Lynn Wood. Kind of odd how that keeps working out. Everybody but Lynn Wood keeps getting sued. Hmm, wonder what that is. But so the, uh, given all of these uh, dynamics, uh, it, it, it wouldn't surprise me for them to try to move for limited to discovery, but their problem is their suit is too broad. They brought. They should have stuck with the obviously false facts, left out all the rest. But mm -hmm. by putting at issue whether there was any problem with the election, they have opened the door to discovery to everything. So, in my view, you know, the, the they they've opened. So, if 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 they do a good job, either Patrick Byrne or One America News Network or Lindell or Giuliani or Powell, they'll then they have. I believe they're entitled to full discovery on pretty much everything and anything. Now, what they'll find is some of their theories there won't be backed up at all. Yeah. By the way, this was a sign when I was predicting Dominion would sue, and a lot of commenters were like, you're full of it. They'll never sue because they know they're guilty. This should be a sign to everybody that they think all the evidence will back them up. They had no well, fear well, about marching forward. Now, or, or people are going to say, or they feel confident they've deleted or destroyed whatever could be incriminating. But I say anyone who's practiced law for any period of time knows you cannot ever fully delete fully no. bleach bit, whatever. You can't do it. You uh, can't plus, rely on that. If they it, did, that's a spoilation order against them. Uh, so under the federal rules of evidence, federal rule 37, if you deliberately destroy evidence that you know you're going to use or need in litigation or will be relevant in, in litigation, then the court can find that uh, a whole bunch of sanctions against you. So uh, I, I can't believe Dominion would have taken that gamble. And so uh, my view is that Dominion's very confident in their position. Uh, but so if, if, you know, the, all the, you know, Powell and all the rest, if they believe that they have, uh, that they'll find evidence, they'll, they're now going to be given full opportunity to get it. So, you know, if they don't get it now, that means it never existed, period. Uh, but they are going to be subject to some discovery on their own. Now they, Dominion can ask for some aspects of that to be under seal, under protective order. And what they'll do is they'll say every time any of these defendants have got even pieces of information, they've misused it and lied about it. So we want limited what they get access to. And the court probably would partially grant that, but not fully. But they'll have their chance to prove their case. And we'll see if they uh, if they are able to do so. But I mean, it's, it's, on it's, some of the things, they're just they're dead to rights, unfortunately. I was going to say, even if they successfully prove 10 percent of what they claimed, that I'll still be impressed. I mean, I'll still be, oh, yeah. I, I might, I might eat my words depending on what that 10% includes, but let's see where it goes. The depositions will be fun. 